I started out as a physics major in um, undergraduate um, schooling and I was always interested in astronomy. I mean, since I was a baby, it was just fascinating to me. I started an internship um, at the University of Colorado in Boulder um, with the High Altitude Observatory, which uh, is a place that has solar data uh, and they study the sun. And I immediately fell in love with the images that I was seeing. I was so impressed with this, you know, big ball of fire. That's what I used to think the sun was. And all of a sudden it became this incredible ball of magnetic field and plasma. And to find out that we actually don't know a whole lot about the sun. We do, but there's so much we still have to, uh, to explore. And it, it just, it caught my attention. And that's uh, when I became interested in solar physics specifically. And luckily I was able to do a, uh, a PhD program um, through the University of Oslo in Norway um, while I was actually still residing in Boulder, Colorado. And it was somewhat of a flexible PhD program. And I was able to take classes in Oslo, but con um, continue to work full time in Boulder. So it was this fantastic uh, experience in this wonderful program. And uh, after I got my PhD from University of Oslo, uh, I had an opportunity to work at Rice University as a research uh, scientist there. And then an opportunity opened up at uh, Goddard, which is uh, NASA, Goddard Space Flight Center. Um, and I came here to actually work as the Associate Director for Science originally. And then I, um, after three years in that role, I switched over to being lab chief for one of the labs in the Heliophysics Science Division. So it was kind of a long, interesting, somewhat different path than some people take.